Aaron Sorkin, who is one of the most well-known writers for his work in both television, West Wing and Newsroom, and movies, Moneyball and Social Network, is set to make his directorial debut with Molly's Game, based on Molly Bloom's memoir about going from a top-tier skier to organizing underground poker games for Hollywood celebrities. Clark, buy or sell Aaron Sorkin's directorial debut choice of Molly's Game. I buy it. I definitely buy it. Um, and I, admittedly, I am not the biggest Sorkin fan in the world. And when I started reading this... Um, uh, this bit of news, I kind of thought to myself, you know, Sorkin, while you can point to individual characters as examples, isn't necessarily known for, I don't think, writing women particularly well. Um, I don't love the way he handles women uh, on film and specifically. So I think it's interesting that we've got this female protagonist that is leading this crazy story. That being said, the story sounds amazing. And in fact, I was just watching Rounders over the holiday break, and I remember thinking to myself, man, I wish one of these was a lady. Like, maybe if this movie was made now, like, how cool it would be to see a woman in Edward Norton's role or Matt Damon's role. So with that being said, I love this premise. I love the idea of it. And uh, and I have high hopes for it. So I buy it. Uh, I buy it as well. I, I'm a fan of Aaron Sorkin's. I, I really, like I said, love Steve Jobs. He did Social Network and Moneyball as well. Uh, also, I also like that he's getting into it now. Like he's been writing for television and movies for many, many years. And now he's making that transition versus someone else, like maybe just writing a few things here and there like oh no no I want to be a director he's been around the game he's been on set he's worked with directors he's worked with actors so he sees how it goes versus someone just trying to jump right in and also I found that writers transitioning to directors has been a lot more successful than something like a cinematographer trying to transfer to a director I mean obviously I think actors have had had the best transition you have like a Clint Eastwood a Mel Gibson a Ben Affleck I think those actors definitely are the the most successful in that but I think writers do pretty well as well Christian Uh, I buy it I and I'm surprised it took him this long to direct Mm -hmm. something too I love Aaron Sorkin I think he's one of the best out there isn't he also writing the biopic for Lucille Lucille Ball Ball, yeah see I I tend to think I'm curious I'm I would like to have a conversation like a longer conversation mm-hmm. with you I'm curious why you think he doesn't write women that well I kind of feel the opposite I think that he I think he's done some really good stuff in West Wing and and, and some newsroom newsroom and, yeah uh, and I thought he did I thought that, that Kate Winslet was written pretty well in um, in jobs but um but it's it's it's, it's, it's for me I want to see what he does with this character and it sounds something that I, the guy can write anything, and I want to see it. It could be it could be a commercial for Target, and I'm like, okay, great. When's it coming on? Because I want I I re, he's one of those guys, and I would like to see his vision. It's gonna be a lot of walking and talking, though. Oh, we'll yeah. be, we're gonna have a lot of walking and talking, but it, it sounds pretty cool to me. And then also, <clears throat> how do you feel about the story itself, Molly's Game, about a top tier skier that turned into an. Un- organizing, it's organizing it sounds, it's it sounds yeah. cool yeah. like there's nothing like what could be cooler right. than something like that think about the sequences that you can have the action sequences the skiing sequences and then of course the celebs the cameos maybe yeah. like and, all of those things you know what I like about it I like the fact that it's a it's a role for a woman that doesn't have to be just a, a remake or a rehash of like say like Ghostbusters or something mm-hmm. like that because Ghostbusters to me again and I'll say, I'll say it again I think Ghostbusters could have been a continuation of the Ghostbusters series it didn't have to be a remake of it. I think that the Ocean's Eleven could have been a, either a continuation or a standalone heist movie that these women could have done as opposed to just a remake. This is a movie that seems like it's going to be an original story by him that's going to, it's going to be something we haven't seen. It could be, there could be a lot of really fun elements to it. So this is a big buy for me. And then you're talking about cameos. Do you think that people would actually cameo in it that actually were involved with it? I mean, maybe not involved, <laughs> but maybe people, some... Some of the names are like what? Like Ben Affleck, Leonardo DiCaprio, Tobey Maguire or something like that? Like... Are, the, are they going to reprise their roles of what actually happened? Well, I don't think Ben Affleck is yeah. going to want to be portrayed gambling. He at, will, but he'll be wearing a Batman mask. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and he'll be growling at people. But I do think that, you know, Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I call. Uh, but no, I think you could potentially have some really fun Sorkin regulars mm-hmm. kind of showing up and, and doing something cool as themselves, maybe. And so I think, it, uh, yeah, it'd be fun. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.